So comparing these two broadheads, this one here is an original Rage slip cam. It has the black O-ring, not the, not the original shock collars, not the updated shock collars with supports, but a black O-ring. Now, what you want to do with this O-ring, if you have these, is every year, throw away the old one, get a new one, put a new O-ring on it, and I have another video on that. A uh, real easy way to put the new O-rings on. Put a little bit of Vaseline on it before you put it on there. That way, whenever you're hunting and your blade pops out, all you have to do, put it back in. You just push it like this. Now, another thing I like to see on broadheads is that when the blades are open, I like to see that it's going to cut into the animal right away. So I'll show you that and get this open and put these blades back. Okay, so with these blades back, as you're coming down, as the hide is coming down here, you can see the first thing it's gonna hit is a sharpened blade. Now there is a little bit of that other blade slightly in the way as the hide comes down, if we get a straight on look at that. Now that one's actually out of the way. We'll check the other side. Let's see how that little bit of blade is Let's see here close to being in the way but pretty much as soon as the hide comes down and hits the blade it's going to be cutting so you know i like to see broadheads that remind me as much as a like an operating scalpel as possible and that's what this is and you'll see a lot of mechanical broadheads where that little nub that's sticking out right there, that little piece right there is kind of covering up the blade on the other side. And these do a pretty good job of not covering it up. And we'll just check out that reset one more time. Snap, snap. Okay, and that one's ready to go. I use these, I'm gonna to continue to use them. They hit like field points out to 60 yards. I have tested it. So I just sight in with my broadheads and then you know, I can put these on and I know I'm ready to go. I don't have to test them again. Now the updated one here is the Rage Hypodermic No Collar for Crossbows. These are very nice. They do snap in a little bit more positively than this one. So when I'm resetting this, careful when you're doing this. You know, it grabs a little bit better and that's a metal grab. You don't have to mess with O-rings. If these are in good shape and they're clean, I think they're going to function very well. Tip looks pretty cool. Now let's check these out when they're open. So that's going to open. So it opens and then it slides back. And that would be the position it's in when it hits the deer. So open up the other side. So open, slide back. Okay, so there's basically our deer hitting position. See if I can get these. So you see that little nub there, it's kind of beside the blade. And as the hide comes back, this one, this first little bit, like right here, this is not sharpened. It's not sharpened until about right there is where it's sharpened. So, you know, it's things I look at I mean, that arrow is going to blast through the deer with pretty much any crossbow, so it's really not going to matter. The, the hide's going to hit this point, and it's going to be, you know, already kind of opened up from this going through. And then it's going to be under some pressure when it hits this, and it's going to tear it. So, you know, I haven't shot any deer with these no-collar Rage Hypodermics yet, but I probably will try them out this year. I want to see how well they fit hit like field points first. Um, I did order a nice broadhead target because my older broadhead targets just won't, you know, uh, won't handle the fast crossbows like the Raven and the Barnett shooting around 400 feet per second. But I do love these ones. These ones are cool. They seem to be very well made. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for more crossbow stuff and Raven R29 stuff and Raven crossbow stuff.
Back here, Broadheads. Thanks for watching.